I don't even know how to preface this off. I bit my tongue last night because that was only strike one. This is strike two. Actually, before we preface this, before, before I even get into this video, I just want to give a shout out to Chris Sale. Eight innings of great pitching. I'm proud. And now for context of the game. Top nine, Sox lead 3-1. Kenley Jansen coming to the mound. Time in about two and a half years, he did not Just listen to what the broadcast says. Boy, walked him on four straight. So you heard that? Boy, walked him on four straight. Walked him on four straight pitches. That sound familiar? No? Well, I'm gonna let you know. Last night, the game before this, Kenley Jansen comes in, walks the first guy on four pitches. Here's the evidence right there. And then he does it tonight. Contreras so now he gets the warning. Like, look, watch the clock. Wait. To trickle down. Jansen wants so to he gets quickly. the message loud and clear, right? Waits. And the See? Has warned Jansen. The umpire saying he's going too fast. Apparently the rule is you got to be facing the pitcher or something like that. The batter has to be facing the pitcher when before the pitcher gets set. Because it's not essentially like, it's a, like you're quick pitching them. So I guess that's what the umpire was telling Kenley about, to just wait and be patient. But I don't know what happened. He just got called for it again. I, I just don't know. And you got Kenley looking for Cora's help. But Cora, and you see they, they get people out there. They get people out there to try and show him some support. So he finally gets it out. So Nolan Gorman comes to the plate. A 1-2 count, Kenley. Kenley, you threw a cut fastball to this dude last night. What are we doing on 1-2, spotting in middle, middle? You have pitches to work with. I don't get it, bro. I don't get it. Swing and a shot headed for right center field. That ball is down. It's over the wall. Look at that. Look at this. For my baseball players out there, you already know the saying, a blank high fastball. For some people might say belt high, there's a more non-YouTube friendly way to say it, but just look, it's right there, bro, right down the middle. You gotta be better. So he intentionally walks the next guy and Burleson comes in the pinch. Might be tough to turn. That's on us. That is on us. Streaking home and scoring. It's gonna be Gorman. And the but regardless, it looked like Burleson was about to beat it out. Kike tried to get rid of it. So 4-3, two runs come in. And then we get in a, a pickle. And eventually we're gonna get the guy out. So chill flip. Yeah, another blown save from Kenley Jansen. So we go to the ninth. Line drive left, One out. Burles, and he doesn't even look like he plays left field, but hey, he turned into one today. Good catch from him. Last hope for the Red Sox. Grounder. Cardinals win. Before I talk about Kenley, I want to talk about Alex Cora. He's working with what he's got. And for people that say, oh, he's got to have a little bit more faith. The faith before the game even started was the thought that Kenley's going to rebound. Because normally, your closer blows a save. You don't want to run him out there again, especially after he threw 30 pitches. Alex Cora putting him in that situation with up 3-1. After you blew a save, come back. Do it again. That's faith right there. And it was like, oh, Cora done messed up. No, he didn't. You got to show your guy that you trusted him. And Kenley just folded. And now to Kenley. Brother, what are you doing up there, man? What do you do for the other eight innings, my boy? This is strike two. I, I'm biting my tongue. So, listen. We got one more game tomorrow. Let's steal it. Because if we lose, get swept by the Cardinals, and the Celtics lose... I'm not going to be happy. I am not going to be happy. 
Don't let it get to strike three.